All right, it is Friday. It is 6.48 a.m. I got to get ready for work and all that good shit. But before I get into today's podcast, I want to thank Blackstone Labs for sponsoring me, sponsoring this podcast. And you can get 20% off your entire order at BlackstoneLabs.com. That is 20% off your entire order, BlackstoneLabs.com. Look, you're trying to get hooked up, you're trying to get jacked, you're trying to get shredded. Whatever it is you're trying to do, you're trying to achieve the dream body you want. Well, guess what? Blackstone Labs can help you. And you can get 20% off your entire order at BlackstoneLabs.com. Use promo code BEHEAL, the fourth power at checkout at BlackstoneLabs.com. Also, to CH Concrete, serving the San Francisco Bay Area. That is CH Concrete, serving the San Francisco Bay Area. Look, you trying to get your it's a cement done. I'm talking about you want to cement your whole front yard, you want to cement your whole backyard, they can take care of you. Commercial, residential, no job too big, no job too small. That is CH Concrete, serving the San Francisco Bay Area. Patios, walkways, driveways, foundations, sidewalks. It does not matter. They can take care of you. CNH Concrete serving the San Francisco Bay Area. All their information in the notes in the bottom. Check them the fuck out. All right. Now let's get into today's podcast. Um, you know, I'm a father. I'm a dad. I have three sons and I have a daughter. All right. And, you know, with every one of my kids as children, real young children, I would never leave them unattended. All right. Not one... I, I it, it, like I I hated leaving my car, leaving them in the car to run inside to get something. That's how much I used to hate leaving that. I wouldn't even do it. I would physically, if I had to take the whole fucking car seat out, guess the fuck I'm taking the whole fucking car seat out. If I gotta get them out with me, uh, wrestle with whatever you need to wrestle and get, I just wouldn't run back in the house and get something because I did not ever want to leave them unattended in a vehicle by themselves. I, I, just period. I just don't, never liked it. Won't do it. It, just, it like it. I could. I it blows my mind when you hear people. Oh, I forgot they were in the car and the child passed away. You're like, what the fuck? Look, I understand our lives get busy. I understand that we fucking get distracted. But the thing is, is not once in my life have I ever left my child unattended in a car in a vehicle by themselves. I let whether let you know just leaving them in the other room for me to use the restroom. Always made me fucking nervous because they're they're children. They're young. They're you know they're dumb. They don't know. They haven't learned. All right. They're going through life lessons as they grow. All right. And the reason I'm giving all of this and I'm saying all this is because I saw something that really pissed me off. I saw something that upset me so much. Something so much that I almost broke character of work. All right. I'm very professional at work. I will not step out of myself. And let let that side out at work because you know that's just how I am. I'm, I'm a professional at work. I, I do my job. I don't let shit distract me. But so, I saw something that just fucking almost drew it out of me. And what drew it out of me is as I was working, and like I said, we all know where I work. We all know who I work for. But as I was working, I see this little girl. All right, she had to be six. All right, maybe seven. All right, maybe seven. All right, this this. this you know, it's hard to tell age and stuff like that, but it's a little girl, and a little Asian girl, all right, and, I, you know, I'm, I'm working, and I'm like, hey, where's your parents? And she's all, uh, uh, at, at, at typical little, little, little person, child response, they don't want to give me an answer, which I'm perfectly fucking fine. I have my name badge on, I'm working in the station that she's right next to, and... I do not expect her to speak to me, but she does. She goes, oh, he went to get something. And I'm like, get something? You know, and I happen to be working with my supervisor at that moment in time, and I tell him, I'm like, hey, this little girl's by herself. And he's like, what? And, then, you know, and like I said, and, and like I said, this, this is what drives me nuts. And, you know, as we're speaking and we're sitting here trying to, you know, gather our thoughts in this situation because like I said I was kind of just blown away step back like what the fuck we're in a major fucking store a crowded fucking score store and this little girl's just right here next to the shopping cart by yourself it takes nothing but two fucking seconds it takes nothing but a second all right there are fucking crazy stupid fucking retarded maniacs out there that just want to take children all right I I it, uh, you see it on a daily basis. You hear it on a daily basis. You, you, like, these things fucking happen. 
All right, it's all over the fucking news all the fucking time. And look, I know not everyone in the world's a fucking psychopath, but the thing is, it just takes one second for a psychopath so it, for someone to take advantage. All right, the people don't fucking know. People are wearing masks at the fucking moment, so people can't really see each other's faces. So it makes it much more fucking just that much more fucking scary because, like I said, they wouldn't know if someone grabbed this little girl. Walk the fuck out, and either she didn't argue or she kind of put up a little fight. Well, guess what? No one's going to say shit because, look, she's just misbehaving, right? Look, th these are the things that that I see that go on. That This is the shit that pisses me off. That someone is just so irresponsible. So irresponsible to leave a little girl unattended with a shopping cart in a major fucking retail fucking store and walk the fuck away. It makes me sick to my fucking stomach. Makes me sick to my fucking stuff. Because like I said, hey, and the reason I almost broke character, and this is what, I, all I wanted to do was grab this guy and shake him violently. T treat him like a child. Like a, like it, it, it like I, it, I couldn't even imagine doing that to my daughter. I wouldn't even, I have a hard enough, my daughter's a teen, almost a teenager. She's a preteen at the moment. And I still have a hard time letting her go to the next fucking aisle. All right. I always tell them stay within my sight, and they're the, all my kids are old enough to know better, to fucking fend for themselves, defend themselves as much as they possibly could. But I still have issues with that. All right, I have an eight-year-old son, and he is not to leave my sight. When he is with me, when we're at the store, I'm, it's either he's with me, he's with my wife, he's with his brother, people that I can trust, and then I, I'm like, okay, go. But if not, a fucking no way. And yet, this little girl's by herself, next to the shopping cart, dazed and confused, because she has this fucking wandering eye, like, oh, what do I do? And I'm like, what? Don't do nothing. You stay right fucking there. Luckily, I'm there. The supervisor's there. People are there who fucking actually know what the fuck. And then this fucking idiot rolls up, like, oh, I just went to go get one fucking thing. Look, if his daughter got kidnapped, got taken, something fucking happened, all because you wanted to get a box of fucking cereal. Really? Really? Step the fuck out of line. Go get what you fucking want. Hold your fucking daughter's hand and go get your fucking shit. You see what I'm fucking saying? You see? Look, look your whole life could have changed. Your whole fucking life. Your fucking thoughts, your processes. You'd been in mourning. You would never see your daughter again over a box of fucking cereal. And all you had to do was take her with her. Even if you left the fucking cart... A full of all your bullshit and took her with you. Who would have fucking cared? Nobody. But yet you choose to leave your child alone. This is what makes me sick. Like I said, I would have grabbed this guy. I would have shook him. I would have punched him. out of my This is what you fucking get for being an idiot. For leaving your daughter alone by herself. That's what makes me fucking sick. All right, drove me fucking, I couldn't think of nothing else but hurting this fucking guy to make sure he learns this life lesson. Because the pain I would have gave him wouldn't have been as strong as the pain if he lost his daughter. You see what I'm fucking saying? People need to fucking think. Common sense is never handed out. And the reason it's not handed out is because you have to earn it. You have to learn it. You have to grow with it. And the people that don't are the people I hate dealing with. And it makes me so fucking sick that people think that's okay. Especially in a day and age when shit's fucking mani as fuck. Shit is fucking crazy. This is an insane fucking time. And yet... You choose to leave your child unattended. You see what I'm saying? You hear this shit? I can't stand it. I can't fuck it. Like I said, it, it just irritated me so fucking much and so deeply. I mean, even my supervisor had an issue with it. I had the biggest issue with it because I would never, ever, ever leave my child, someone else's child, unattended. At any moment in time. And the reason I wouldn't is because all the crazy psychopathic shit that you see. You see it every day in the news. You see it every day in the paper. I just turned my head for a fucking second. That's all it fucking takes. A fucking second. You hear what I'm saying? I'm, I'm saying minutes. 
all right? A second, that turns that minute into forever. And so anything could have happened. And yet you, you choose to leave her unattended for a box of fucking cereal. Regardless if it's a major store, a brand store, a dollar store, a fucking whatever fucking store, people go to all these fucking stores. Thousands of people go to all these fucking stores every fucking day, and yet you choose to fucking be reckless like that with your child's fucking life. I don't fucking get it. I don't fucking understand. I don't understand the process thinking of these fucking people. All right? This is in fucking saying to me. I can't stand this shit. It just fucking frustrates me that people just fucking treat life so fucking meaningless. You know what I'm saying? It's it's, just, it's like over a box of cereal, you chose to risk your fucking daughter's life. You, you chose to risk this child's life just because you forgot one fucking thing and all you had to fucking do was wheel your cart over there, hold your daughter's hand, and have a good fucking day. And, and, and you choose not to do that. You choose to run away, go grab something, and come back and hope everything's okay. In a perfect world, it'd be okay. But this is in a perfect world. Like I said, you know, I have kids. I have four kids. And I'm not a perfect fucking father, but the thing is, I've never left my child unattended. And the reason I've never left my child unattended is because it scares me to death to something to happen to them. I choose not to let nothing happen to them because if something happened to me, happened to them, I'd freak the fuck out. I would murder somebody. I would do horrible, horrible things if something happened to my child and I knew who it was or I found out who it was or even if I searched for my child. And, 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 I'm, and uh, you know, er, everyone would say that. Everyone in this world would say I would fuck, that I would anything. Look, and that's all of us. All of us would. All right, but I never want to be in that situation. I don't want you to be in that situation. I don't want nobody's fucking parents, child, in these situations. So we can all, I wish I would have, I would have, I, I'd do this, I'd do, whatever the fuck it is. All right, I understand. I fucking get it. But the thing is, don't put your children in this situation. Don't put you and the children in this situation. That's just what it is. Don't do that shit. Have some common fucking sense. Take your fucking kids with you. Do not leave them in the car. Do not leave them in the store. Don't just go for one fucking second to grab something because you think it's going to be quick. No. Take the fucking time. Take your fucking children and be with them all the fucking time. So guess the fuck what? This is an angry motherfucking dad. You want to watch this shit? IGTV, YouTube. You want to listen to shit? Spreaker, SoundCloud, Stitcher, Spotify, Google Play, Apple Podcasts, Podbean, SoundCloud, Deezer, iHeartRadio. Uh, this motherfucker's everywhere. You can easily fucking find it. Make sure you rate, review, like, subscribe. It helps me to fuck out. You know somebody needs to listen to my podcast? Make sure you fucking share it. Make sure you go let them fucking know. Also, too, I'm part of the SIP Network. That's a slightly irregular podcast network. A group of podcasters that have come together to join our powers and to make sure that we spread our fucking shit around everywhere. A slightly irregular podcast network. At SIP Network, at Instagram... You can also use our website at sipnet.us and you can find the links to every one of our fucking podcasts. Go directly to our fucking our, our streaming sites, our stores, whatever the fuck it is that you need. All right, go check them the fuck out. It fucking helps us out a lot. So guess the fuck what? Monday is a fucking holiday and guess the fuck what? I don't work on the fucking on the holidays like the fucking government, all right? So I'll be off like a motherfucker. So you motherfuckers will get this shit on Wednesday. Fuck. Always living, always living, always living, always living, always living, always living.